Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be talking about massive news of Hedera's involvement in the recent stablecoin development on both Mastercard and Visa and we'll also be talking about how the likes of Toco and other organisations are set to directly harness the benefits of Hedera's network. So before we talk about the main stories today I'd like to show you a clip featuring a member of the Hedera Governing Council member FIS and the organisation subsidiary organisation WordPay going into detail and providing a lot of insights about the recent collaboration WordPay has with Mastercard card and visa in regard to designing and developing a stablecoin protocol and infrastructure for the payment providers so again the following clip features the individual and he goes into depth about these developments yeah of why it's a big deal and why we at WorldPay and companies like Hedera and visa and others are really excited about what's going on in the settlement space what's wrong with this we could say nothing's wrong because 25 plus trillion dollars a year move on this rail it supports millions of merchants. It's created trillion dollar companies if you combine Visa and MasterCard together. But I think it could be better. Settlement transaction we do. So they're saying WorldPay actually paid the fiat into the bank it was supposed to, Circle minted the USDC that it was supposed to onto the correct chain, and it was transferred this fresh, untouched USD from WorldPay to the merchant when it was supposed to be. That's all getting validated by Axiom, getting attested to Hedera, which then can be validated on Hedera. And then what we're doing is, with the Archaea mirror note service, making that available to our clients and any of their auditors or partners or banks who need the information, to get all of that information in real time to get a lot of benefits, I want to call it, is you've got, a, as a merchant, this proof of reserves dashboard, so your merchant name, you can see your unique Hedera consensus topic, your EVM address. You can see what sort of assets we're looking at, um, what the data sources are, like Fireblocks or WorldPay or the bank or Circle or whatever. And then you can also drill down, as we'll see in a second, into every single transaction in that settlement flow. You can see when the fiat was deposited by WorldPay, when the USDC was minted and what chain it was minted on, when the USDC was transferred and where it was transferred to and from is very, very important to us. This is all API based. We can scale this out to hundreds, if not thousands of merchants because they're all replicating the same process through Axiom, through Hedera and their scalable infrastructure and then pulling it into each merchant's own unique dashboard. So as stated in the previous clip, the likes of Visa and MasterCard are actually collaborating with the Hedera Governing Council members subsidiary organization WorldPay. So WorldPay have actually chosen to design a stablecoin infrastructure for both Visa and MasterCard through the direct utility and provisioning of Hedera's consensus and tokenization service, most notably Hedera's tokenization service, where Hedera's tokenization service comes with a number of benefits and puts it ahead compared to the majority of other DLTs on the marketplace where the fees to create a stablecoin or just a general NFT or token are fixed and predictive so with the abundant number of benefits associated with the usage of Hedera's tokenization service it makes no surprise as to why WordPay have chosen Hedera's network to build a stablecoin infrastructure for both Visa and MasterCard so how could this impact both organizations where both organizations are responsible for the validation and the processing of billions of dollars worth of transactions potentially every month. So with Hedera being at the center of building a stablecoin protocol for both payment providers, this could see synonymous increases to the utility of stablecoin usage by both organizations. And it makes abundant sense as to why such organizations would choose to use stablecoin activities and utilities, most notably due to the innate benefits and qualities stablecoins provide, especially surrounding cross-border payments and rapid throughput and transaction and validation capacity so with the number of innate qualities and benefits associated with the usage of stablecoins this could see the usage of Hedera's network becoming synonymously more expansive and as a result 
this may resultantly lead to further increases to the demand for HBAR, where HBAR will be at the centre of validating such transactions, especially in regards to minting stablecoins. And this will further compound the overall utility surrounding Hedera, where Hedera, as we all may be aware of, is the most widely utilised network on the marketplace. So with the likes of Visa and Mastercard potentially at the centre of utilising stablecoin infrastructures, which will be backed and based on Hedera, this will see the likes of both organizations harnessing stablecoin utility through Hedera services. So furthermore, as we can see from this clip here, it actually details as to what one can expect through the utility of stablecoins and how stablecoins could be used in conjunction with other DLT innovations, most notably CBDCs, where the majority of central banks around the world are looking to roll out and design their very own CBDCs in the near future. So with CBDCs around the world looking likely to be backed and built on DLT innovations, these infrastructures and capabilities will see the potential usage of the likes of Hedera's network being facilitated and potentially incorporated into CBDC frameworks. And it goes to show how DLT is becoming more integrated into mainstream financial activities and infrastructure. So it goes to show the number of innate qualities and attractive propositions Hedera is connected with and is associated with, and how all of these innate qualities could lead to the likes of Hedera becoming more heavily integrated into financial activities for years to come, not just by the likes of Visa and MasterCard, but potentially by central banks and other bigger financial institutions and organizations so again very exciting and we'll see how these developments play out and how it could impact the utility of Hedera and how the utility of of Hedera could be encompassed and provisioned and utilized by financial bodies. So another development I'd like to talk about is a recent partnership between the two Hedera governing council members in ServiceNow and Deutsche Telekom or T-Mobile. So both of these organisations are both Hedera Governing Council members and it's very exciting that both Hedera Governing Council members are actually working in conjunction. So it goes to show how a lot of organisations around the world now, especially highly esteemed organisations, are taking steps in regards to DLT innovations and developments and with both organisations having a direct affiliation with Hedera and furthermore both organisations actually possess private Hedera nodes. This indicates how both institutions are highly and abundantly aware of the benefits Hedera provides and it goes to show how both organisations are also eyeing the potential Hedera could be associated with and how these organisations could utilise Hedera's infrastructure into their own frameworks. As we all may be aware, ServiceNow, which is a software organisation and provides its services to 80% of the Fortune 500, actively utilises Hedera's network for their software development and protocol, where Hedera's network is actually plugged into software protocol and infrastructure ServiceNow provides. So, Again, it goes to show how Hedera is at the centre of so many exciting initiatives and how its governing council members and other highly esteemed organisations have actually earmarked and noted to the potential Hedera provides and how Hedera could improve the seamlessness in a number of ventures and protocols. So very exciting all round. So another story I'd like to talk about, again, as I mentioned, ServiceNow is also at the centre of using Hedera's network for their ECG management protocol. So the main reason as to why ServiceNow may have chosen Hedera for this protocol is due to the eco-friendly nature surrounding Hedera, where upon a number of studies which have been conducted, Hedera is the most eco-friendly network on the marketplace. So it makes abundant sense as to why ESG developments are taking place and ESG platforms are being built through the utility of Hedera's network. So very exciting and it again indicates the potential Hedera can provide and how these indices and utilities could bring further use cases on Hedera and as a result the demand for HBAR will increase and potentially greater returns for HBAR token holders. So again time will tell but it's very exciting all round. So another development I'd like to talk about is how Toco which is a digital asset creation platform is actively utilizing Hedera. So I actually spoke about Toco a few videos ago where Toco have actually entered a strategic partnership with VirtuZone in the UAE to launch Dubai's first tokenized equity crowdfunding platform. So with Toco 
playing a key role in development surrounding tokenization across the wider Dubai marketplace. And again, Hedera being at the center of providing its services and use cases to Toco's users, it indicates how Toco is playing a key role in providing uh, an exciting proposition to stakeholders across the wider Dubai marketplace. So the actual story in regards to this development continued as it stated as to how tokenization especially surrounding real world assets will be authorized and enabled through the usage of toco services which again will be backed and built on hedera's network so a landing page on the hedera website was actually put into place which goes into detail about toco and what toco provides so toco is actually a, a subsidiary organization to the hedera governing council member dla piper and dla piper actually utilizes toco services to create and tokenize assets especially within the legal realm which dla piper is at the center of so again toco services are actually built on hedera so the main reason as to why dla piper chose to build its toco services on Hedera, most notably Hedera's tokenization service, is due to the tokenization service allowing for the creation and issuing of tokens which will represent a number of assets, including real estate, fine art, intellectual property, ESG as ServiceNow is utilizing, debt restructuring, fund structuring, equity and digital IPO and reinsurance so with the number of exciting use cases and the abundant number of utilities and potential assets which could be minted and created through toco services and indirectly hedera's tokenization service it's very exciting and it again shows another exciting use case surrounding hedera's services and again the main reason as to why hedera's tokenization service was chosen in this venture is due to the abundant number of benefits tokenization services on hedera provides especially in terms of it being cost effective fees being fixed and the overall network being eco-friendly and cost effective so with all of these abundant number of highly attractive propositions it makes no surprise as to why the wider dubai marketplace have actually chosen to build and utilize toco services and an extension hedera's network for tokenization activities across the wider dubai marketplace and uae so very exciting and there's not too many other dlt organizations which have a strong foothold and association with a number of ventures across a nationwide platform in the case of Hedera and its indirect affiliation with Dubai and the UAE. So another initiative which is at the center of the Hedera and Toco use case is how Toco is actively set to utilize Hedera's consensus service and in extension how this use case will be associated with the plugging of the Hyperledger Fabric plugin which is provided by the Microsoft Azure blockchain infrastructure so the main reason as to why this framework has been put into place is due to the benefits Hedera's consensus service provides in terms of high scalability immutability and cost effectiveness so these key characteristics puts Hedera ahead especially Hedera's consensus service ahead over the likes of the standard Hyperledger Fabric blockchain protocol where Despite Hyperledger being a private blockchain infrastructure, the utility of Hedera's consensus service, coupled with its innate qualities, will bring further benefits to Hyperledger's fabric blockchain infrastructure, which will go about improving the use cases and utilities of Hyperledger's fabric blockchain infrastructure. And as a result, these developments could lead to overall improvements and increases in the utility of Hedera's network. So again, this indicates another use case surrounding Hedera's network and how these developments could lead to Hedera being more widely incorporated and utilized for further developments across a number of industries for years to come. What are your thoughts on Hedera? Are you excited about MasterCard and Visa using Hedera's network? Let us know your views in the comments below. Thank you for watching Crypto Clan. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click on the notification bell. Let us know your views in the comments below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.